Hello, welcome. In this uh, lecture, we will discuss about leakage power dissipation. Leakage power dissipation takes place through seven different mechanisms. Uh, the seven different mechanisms are uh, resulting in seven different leakage currents. Each, each leakage current is uh, mentioned here. Example I1 is reverse bias PN junction diode leakage current. I2 is reverse bias PA junction current due to tunneling of uh, electrons from valence band to the uh, valence band of the P region to the conduction band of the N region Ex and so on. Uh, there are seven different uh, currents. Uh, we will discuss uh, one after the other uh, slowly in the coming uh, slides. You can see here this is a N well process CMOS inverter. A CMOS inverter you can see here drain of P device is connected to supply voltage and source of N device this is N device there is no bubble is there is a bubble here there is no bubble here so this is N mass transistor the source of N mass transistor is connected to ground The source of N mass transistor is connected to ground. Now, both the inputs are both the gates are tied together to apply in input voltage, and, and drain of the N device and the source of the P device are connected uh, to get the output. See here, for a P channel, uh, for a P type uh, P, P type transistor or P mass transistor, the substrate should be N well N pro N type. So this N well uh, accommodates a P mass transistor. Why, how we call P mass transistor or N mass transistor? The channel which will be developed between drain and source is of P type. So this is called as P mass transistor. I think you understood clearly. Here the channel forms between drain and source. If this is drain and this is source, between drain and source, the channel that is formed is of N type because this whole substrate is P substrate. In the P substrate, N channel forms. So this is N mass transistor. The gate of N mass transistor and P mass transistor are tied together and uh, input is applied. This part is uh, clear. And uh, source of, this is source of P mass device. This is drain of N mass device. Both are connected to take, to get the output. And this uh, terminal is drain of the PMOS device which is connected to the supply and this terminal is the source of the NMOS device which is connected to the ground and these two additional uh, diffusions are made to have proper resistivity uh, in the device. So this is the basic uh, CMOS inverter, single inverter and the leakage current, the first current which is uh, the first current which we have discussed is reverse bias pn junction leakage diode leakage current uh, to have this uh, i reverse bias diode leakage current i r d l c reverse diode leakage current r d l c is a j s into e power q v d by n k t minus 1 so this is the current uh, current uh, reverse diode leakage current uh, which uh, where JS is the reverse saturation current density this is reverse saturation current density IS is equal to A into JS IS is the total leakage current sat reverse saturation current so IS is AJS VD is the diode voltage applied voltage and N is the emission coefficient of the diode Q charge of an electron which is very, uh, which is standard 1.602 into 10 to the power minus 19 K is Boltzmann's constant, T is absolute temperature, Vt is thermal uh, voltage which can be uh, written as Kt by Q. Uh, that is first mechanism, reverse bias P and diode leakage current. How much? It will be? it will be this much of current 
that will leak through second one is band to band tunneling current what is that statement that statement is reverse bias pn junction current due to tunneling of electrons from valence band of the p region to the conduction band of the n region there is a band difference very little band difference because this is p type material p type material have high valence band and higher conduction band whereas n mas device is having lower valence band and lower conduction band this valence band electron finds a easy this can find from high potential to low potential comfortably so valence band electrons once uh, when it is heated it will release from the valence band uh, it it has to have a lot of energy to jump to the conduction band whereas it need not to have as much energy as it is in this case it need to have very little uh, very little effort without even though without little uh, much much effort you can easily skip uh, uh, slide into the conduction band of the n type region this is a easy task so this easy task can be executed very quickly so this current is called as band to band tunneling current this is sub threshold leakage current name itself is indicating remember sub threshold that is less than the threshold voltage in mass transistor channel forms whenever the gate voltage crosses threshold voltage right so before threshold voltage it is sub threshold voltage in sub threshold voltage there is no channel as there is no channel we should not expect any charge carrier traveling from drain to source if any charge carrier is traveling that is called as sub threshold leakage current leakage current in cma circuit due to the carrier diffusion between the source and drain regions of the transistor in weak inversion when the gate voltage is below vt here there should be a t here below vt threshold voltage just thres sub threshold current exhibits an exponen exponential dependence on the gate voltage which is equal to one uh, uh, i sub threshold leakage current i stl stlc is equal to this equation which is having an exponential relationship with the gate voltage see here e power vgs is here so it have an exponential uh, uh, relationship with the gate voltage very near to the threshold voltage some charge carriers escape from drain and reach the source through the channel this is called as sub threshold leakage current the other mechanism the other mechanism of the other mechanism of uh, leakage currents is due to oxide tunneling current due to reduction of oxide thickness the statement itself is telling you when the oxide thickness is made uh, very little nowadays oxide thicknesses are becoming almost atomic range this atomic range uh, of thickness is not withstanding or with, is not capable of avoiding charge carriers uh, on either side that is charge carriers are tunneling through the device uh, through the oxide layer and entering into the channel this is called as oxide tunneling gate current due to hot carrier injection this is one kind of, this is another kind of uh, leakage current which is very similar to the oxide tunneling so all these currents all these currents produces a pow a power dissipation which is uh, altogether called as leakage power dissipation this uh, channel punch through all these currents all these currents are uh, contributing to the leakage power dissipation so leakage power dissipation should be addressed very properly so that uh, it is very minimum because without uh, doing anything if you power on the uh, chip then these power dissipations start taking place so this should be properly addressed the designer need to put lot of care need to put lot of effort to reduce all these kinds of uh, different uh, leakage power uh, leakage currents
which are incurring into leakage power dissipation. I hope you understood. Thank you.